Hey everybody, it's uh, me, Super Paul Games, and welcome to a brand new game. It's a twine game, you know I like those. The Late Late Show with Stephen Colbert presents Escape from the Man Size Cabinet. Uh, you may know Stephen Colbert from such amazing shows as The Colbert Report and Only in Monroe. If you haven't seen him in Only in Monroe when he interviews Eminem, you should look it up on YouTube. It is amazing. Let's do it! I'm beginning! You are a Stephen Colbert! Congratulations! I would not be surprised if that's the end of the game. You're like, you've already won. America. <laughs> you're wandering the office because your show doesn't start for two months. And they won't let you drive go-karts inside anymore. But I need to drive my mother humping go-karts. I get all the milfs then. Hey, that man-sized cabinet looks interesting. Maybe you should explore the man-sized cabinet. Okay. Once when I was in school, there was a cabinet. And I crawled into it because I was dumb. I was like, a man could fit in there. And my friend Aaron was like, I doubt it. I should have realized he was setting my dumb ass up. So I was like, yes, I can, see? And I climbed in it, and he closed the doors, and he shoved a chair behind it so I couldn't get out. And then I fell asleep in there. And at some point, apparently, the principal came to the classroom and was like, where's Paul? And Aaron was like, I don't know. <laughs> Eventually, they opened the cabinet, and I was sleeping. <laughs> ah, school. Are you sure you don't want to see the rest of the office? No, I need to explore this man-sized cabinet. You enter the cabinet, but it's the size of one man, or in the metric system, what? One bloke? I don't want that communist drivel. I want American standard inches, feet, yards. But with some minor effort, oh, I don't like effort. That's max of effort. You fit perfectly inside. It was made to fit a Stephen Colbert. Well done, now that you're here, you can try and leave or stand here for eight hours. I kind of, I'm really boring. I like, let's go stand here for eight hours. Wow, this is great. It's been eight hours, but it barely feels like four hours. Time flies when you're having fun, but all good things must come to an end. You should probably try to leave. No, I'm happy here. This is my new home. It's like my new mother's womb. Wow, this is great. It's been 16 hours, but it barely feels like eight hours. Before long, I'll be the host of The Tonight Show. The Late Show. Yeah, you don't want The Tonight Show because Jay Leno comes and takes your job. That's always topical. Time flies when you're having fun, but all good things must come to an end. You could try and leave. We're going to wait another eight hours. How long can I stay in this cabinet? You died. No, I lose. Why do I always lose? Dehydration, hunger, and cabinet fever. Claim even the greatest of men. Man-sized cabinets are fun, but you chase that high too hard. Let this be a lesson to your dead body. I just, I tried to fly too close to the sun. Duly noted. Oh, let's enter the cabinet again. Let's try and leave this time. Hey, it's locked. You can yell for help or break the door. I'm a man. I break doors. Shut up, door, you idiot. You yell as you bang your fist into the metal cabinet. To oh, I didn't realize it was metal. I hate you. You're not my real mother cabinet. You kick the door repeatedly and even bite at once. That'll show you. How do you like it? You like it when I bite. You aren't the boss of me anymore. You do a double drop kick into an unyielding door and fall backwards. Wait, this cabinet's supposed to be man-sized. How is there so much room back there? I was wondering that myself. You can either cr keep crying and attacking the door, or go further back. Crying seems like a good idea, but let's go further back. You don't remember the cabinet being this deep. Oh, it is deep. Mr. Tumnus? Or Verdant? The sunlight peeks through a leafy canopy. Long time ago, my dad asked my grandfather. He said, Dad! Uh, did you have a canopy bed when you were a kid? You know the canopy beds where you have the tops. And my grandpa said, yes. We had a canopy over the bed and a canopy under the bed. That's chamber pot humor. So if you wonder where I get my humor from, thank you, grandpa. You are now in a forest. Underneath a tree is a sleeping centaur. Do you want to sneak past the centaur? Awaken the centaur. Euphemism. Is that my wiener? Or awake the centaur, literally. I want to awake him and ride him. The centaur awakens with a start. Hey, uh, no matter what I said in my sleep, I definitely wasn't dreaming about a lady with a horse top and a purse upon him. You pervert! Whoa, are you Stephen Colbert? Well, of course I am. That's awesome. Hey, uh, how's the new show going? Uh, to work without the character. Anyway, my name's Randall the Centaur, and I'm supposed to guard the entrance to this world. How'd you get here? Hmm, I can tell I got locked in the cabinet, but I'm Stephen Colbert, so I must be here to save this land from evil. Randall is taken aback. Then you already know that Murloc, the evil wizard, has cast a pal over this land. A Paul. A Paul. No, you're Paul. Oh, oh delightful! 
feel so stupid. He uh, wants to st uh, stifle the sound of laughter from the universe and spread suffering for some reason. Ah, uh, well, it's a good thing Stephen Colbert is here. He makes me laugh. No one gets it. He lives in a castle with skulls that- That actually sounds cool. I want to be his friend and ride motorcycles. We'll get some hot babes and some cute kittens. Everybody loves kittens. On the other hand, uh, uh, the other end of the game map. Map. How can I not read map? Public school system, thank you again for the skills you have given me. You, uh, must go. Brave late night host, defeat him. Only then can you return to your world. Take this to aid in your quest. He gives you a candle. It never goes out. It's like basically magic, bro. I love magic, bros. Randall sniffs the air. <laughs> oh, you gotta go now. Some important centaur business has come up. He's going to poop. Later, Randall. Have a good summer. I'm digging this game. This was fun. Now you're in an Ice Kingdom type environment. That was quick. I'm Stephen Colbert. I always move fast. I have important Stephen Colbert things to do. My only fear is Baz. A snowstorm has begun swirling around you, but there's a man-sized cave ahead? And an ominous castle in the distance? Oh, but... Do I go with what I know, man-sized caves or ominous castle? I know you want castle, but man-sized cave! Wow, this is cozy and somehow familiar. Something glints in the darkness, like a helpful key or valuable gemstone. You pick up the item, exit the cave, or stand there for eight hours. Ah, we're gonna pick up the item. Hey, it is a key! It's pretty straightforward. Suddenly, it feels like this cave is pretty cashed out. Alright, we'll exit the cave. A snowstorm has died down a little. Thank goodness they have global warming here, too. I know! I was talking with a friend about that last night. You know, in, like, Bond films or whatever, where the bad guy has an evil weather ray? As someone who lives in a cold environment, I don't... Maybe the guy's not evil. Maybe he's just like us, and he's like, you know what, I'm sick of being cold. Maybe he's really the hero. You could probably approach the ominous castle now. Let's do that. See? I was right. Always going to the man-sized cave. Not, Don't go into my man cave, though, if you know what I mean. This is great. You set goals for yourself. You pursue them and attain them. You're Stephen Colbert, and nothing can stand in your way. Suddenly, something stands in your way. Damn it. A lumbering beast leaf, leaps from its... Leafs? I'm part of a tree. Leaps from its hiding place in the snowbank. It's 12 feet tall with a bear trap for a head. Well, I'm not going to make out with him. Or am I? I'm a monster and I eat gold and use bones for currency. Well, I've got a bone, not that kind. Sorry. Give me your money. Is he talking about your gold or your bones? Either way, you're going to have to fight your way past. Punch its head, try and reason with it, say intimidate. I'm saying intimidating lines from movies. Pain don't hurt. I ain't got time to bleed. I'm here to kick ass and chew bubblegum and I'm all the bubblegum. Luke, I am your father. So show me the money! They don't have movies here, so the monster has never heard this kind of unhinged bravado before. He flees, squilling from his pouch. He was wearing a pouch. Didn't, didn't, did I forget to mention that earlier? Tumbles a crystal dagger. Yoink, that's mine now. It's so fancy! I like fancy things. I'm a fancy Colbert. Definitely the type of dagger you'd use at a wedding or a state dinner. I'm always using a wedding. Uh, what? Uh, a dagger at a wedding. You can kiss the bride. Suck it. Oh, why didn't you love me? You pick it up and run away because, come on, forget emotional pain. If you're not ready to approach the castle now, you'll never be. Commit to something for once. You're not my girlfriend, game! Okay. As the castle comes into focus, you see that it's entirely constructed of frost over human skulls. Wicked cool. Come on, mo I want kittens and motorcycles and babes. Okay, fine. There's some mortar and rebar in there, too. But that's just to get it up to code. How often do you see a castle that's even partially made of skulls? Hopefully it's nobody I know. It'd be awkward to be like, hey, it's Brad! Oh, that's what happened to Brad. Unfortunately, entry to the castle is barred by a massive wooden door. There's an ornate keyhole in the door, but the keyhole is frozen over with ice. Let's try the key. I feel like you're not paying attention. The keyhole is still blocked with frozen water. <laughs> Our scientists call it ice. All right, I get you, game. I get you, Gabe. You're like, it's got ice on it. I'm like, I'm going to put my key in. Why is it not working? They're like, Ugh. let's try the candle to melt the ice. It has no effect. Ever have the lock freeze on your car door and try to th thaw it with a cigarette lighter? Uh, not with a cigarette lighter, but I have had it freeze before. <laughs> that sucks in the winter. Does that work in real life? Write, it, write in and let us know. Where's the address? All right, I'm going to try and dagger it. You chip away at the ice with a crystal dagger, successfully unblocking the keyhole. Just goes to show that you are... That most problems can be solved using brute force. Just like Iraq! Let's try the key. 
The massive castle door swings open into an ornate room. He looks so lonely. Maybe he just wants to watch some Stephen Colbert. I won't touch your genitals. Deep in the great hall, he lacks it deep. Atop a golden throne, is it his toilet? Sits a cloaked figure wearing a villainous skull. This could only be Murloc, the evil wizard from before. He beckons for you to approach. You could always flee because you're a talk show host, not the savior to an interdimensional castle. Let's see, golden throne. It's weird that his castle is mostly skulls, but his chair is all gold. This place is like one of those flyers that uses too many fonts. Wait, maybe he's just muddling his aesthetics to distract you. Focus, Colbert! Um, ah, Stephen... Oh, wait, wait, he needs a different name. Our voice. Ah, Stephen Colbert! Hi! Uh, at long last, and the prodigal son returns! I've been waiting for you. It's funny, huh? Well, we're not so different, you and I. Uh, you know the world needs men like us. Should I stab him? Someone who makes the difficult decisions and maintains order. He's distracted. Stab him! In truth, I'm, I'm a man of peace! Quick stab the guy. You, you know, in some ways, I envy you, but it's, it is a wise man who... Stab him, stab him, stab him! I must stab him. You stab him with your dagger. He screams, Ah, oh, dang! And now you know why they call it a dagger. Oh, oh, I don't, I don't understand. Why'd you do that? I was just explaining how I was going to use my magic to bring peace and prosperity to all the peoples of this land. Did you just come here to kill me because the first person you met here told you to? Uh... All right, I can see the flaw in the logic of that. Uh, <laughs> okay. What's wrong with you? If you stepped off a plane in a new city and someone told you to murder the mayor, would you just do it? Um, that never happened before. Show him no mercy and set him on fire and make a peace offering by tossing him the candle. Uh, uh, here's the heavy candle. You throw the candle at Murloc. I hope he catches the fire end. The candle soars through him. Murloc tries everything in his power to put it out. Frost lightning! And nothing works because this candle is magic, remember? The candle lands on Murloc, setting him ablaze. I want to see frost lightning. Water lightning! Fire extinguisher foam lightning! <laughs> Business Spanish! A team of rivals. Hiring a social media person. A constructed wizard candle dialogue. Using the birthday wish he saved up. Magic missile! Magic missile always hits, I thought. Cone of cold! Cone of vomit! He must have been drinking last night. Street magic! Oh man, you gotta keep your street magic cred up or just, you know, n nobody's gonna think anything of you. Gasoline shower! Better than the golden shower. It's truly impressive air guitar! Oh yeah. Patiently waiting it out! Cognitive behavioral therapy! Opening a window because this room has a draft! Calling the fire department, fleeing like a coward! The candle lands on Murloc, setting him ablaze. Murloc dies in agony, and you win a thousand points. I hope he doesn't have little Murloc babies that are going to judge me. A portal of light appears behind Murloc's still screaming bones. I'm going to kick his bones. Ha ha, nice, 10,000 more points. Yes, score. Enter the portal. The blinding light surrounds you, and your eyes struggle to focus. A blurry shape emerges. Another mythical creature? No, it's a paramedic prying you free from the man-sized cabinet. Uh, you never, you were never actually in a fanatical wonderland, he says. How did he know what I was thinking? Take you up in his burly arms. Of course, I do have the same face as the centaur. And the same voice. It must be the same. But don't worry about it. Well, that fairy tale adventure must have just been hallucinations from your cabinet fever, or was it? Let's check our pockets. You check your pockets and feel something sharp. The crystal dagger? Oh, no, wait, it's just a pen. Yeah, this was all cabinet fever. You were correct the first time. I'm done playing now. You're damned right you are. I've got a show, Hope Toast. Because I'm Stephen Colbert. Hell yeah. That story had everything. It had centaurs and kicking ass and Stephen Colbert. I want to play it again. If you would like to play it, there's a link down below. And apparently, there's some sort of comedy show with Stephen Colbert. At some date. I'm not sure when it's going to be on. <laughs> or what network. But I'm sure he'll be entertaining. This game was really cool. For a fun promotional thing, I had a lot of fun with it. I'll see you all in the next video.